Well, guys, I'd love to tell you that the bitch is at it again, but I hate to say it, I don't think that's the actual case. I think that Hillary Clinton is finally putting her plan into action. I'm Mike Allen with ACM. Here we go. Well, guys, if you haven't figured out yet by what the hell I mean by what's going on out there, just hang on and pay attention because I'm about to tell you right now. The shit's about to start getting rolling like a snowball rolling through a damn shit factory. Fact of the matter is, you're going to see a lot of shit start happening. You're going to start seeing it happening real quick right now with this whole SCOTUS thing where they're pushing Stephen Breyer out. And I mean, keep in mind, this guy is one of the most liberal retard judges there is. They're not just pushing this guy out for no reason. They're saying they want to push him out before midterms yeah you damn right they want to push him out before midterms and i'm going to tell you right now why they want to push that man out before midterms real plain and simple plan of action is put one of the scotus out what do we replace them with we replace them with kamala harris why What the hell is she doing in the White House? Not only that, plus we're doing a diversity hire right into the damn Supreme Court. Okay, well, what do we have to do once we have done that? And that is 100% easily doable. That's just for anybody out there wondering, well, how does she go from vice president to that? It's Joe Biden says, hey, you're you're uh, you're in the Supreme Court. Everybody in the damn uh, House and Senate goes on ahead and says, yep, we approve her. Throw her in because, hell, yeah, they want her out of the White House. But the problem comes in when it's where, how do we fill that vacancy and who do we fill that vacancy with? Well, I'm going to tell you who they're going to fill that vacancy with. They're going to fill that vacancy with Hillary Clinton. You bet your ass on it. They ain't worried about another diversity hire, and they never were. This was Hillary's plan from the damn beginning, and it's just now hitting us, just now. Hillary Clinton's going to go in as the vice president. What's going to happen when Hillary goes in as vice president? It's plain and simple. She's going to say, Joe Biden is not able to represent this country anymore. Why? She's going to run a 25 on him. There you go. She's going to get him kicked out of office. Who in the hell in the damn House, Senate, or anything else is going to argue that? Nobody. The thing is, it is up to the vice president to recommend that in case you don't know that. And if you don't think Hillary's not going to recommend that, you're dead wrong. She's going to get in there. She's going to recommend that. Wing, bang, bada, boom. Hillary Clinton is now the president of the United States. And then what's going to happen? She's going to get in there. The only thing she has to do is get rid of everything that Joe Biden's done. She gets rid of everything that Joe Biden's done. She has now became, (laughs) in a lot of people's minds, the best president in the United States of America. Basically, what's going to end up happening after that is now that Hillary has went in, undid all the bullshit that Biden did, which obviously she had him do so that he would look bad, so she could get in there and undo all his shit to make herself look good, then she's going to tear up the midterms. Why is that? Because... Democrats that were actually starting to say, you know what, we need, you know, we got to get the hell away from this. They're going to be like, eh, no, look at this Democrat. Look at Hillary. Look at what she's done for this country. I guarantee she'll get in there. She'll drop gas prices, every damn thing else. And that will happen until eh, after the damn midterms are over. Midterms are over. Everything will go back to shit in a handbasket till about the time that she wants to run for president again in 2024. And then she's going to drop the gas prices again, make everything look like it's going so great. And she wants to have that battle against good old DT. She wants that battle. And she wants to win against him. That is all all that any of this has been about that is the only reason for the whole damn farce election that's taken place last time this got pushed so damn hard so this woman could get into office open your eyes people look at it this isn't crazy it's not conspiracy this is as simple as a couple of click 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 and it's literally done done All they had to do was push somebody out of the damn Supreme Court, be able to nominate somebody else in there, whoever the hell they want to. It's going to be Kamala, diversity hire going right into the damn Supreme Court. Get that done. Get Hillary as vice president. Hillary takes out Biden, who is obviously, obviously not mentally stable enough to run the country. 
And as I said, Hillary Hillary Clinton becomes the president of the United States. If you're not scared yet, you better get damn scared. This woman is going to drive this country into the ground and then sell it to China. Bet your asses on it. Put your boots on. Get ready, boys. It's going to be a ride. I'm Mike Cunt with ACM. God bless America and fuck everyone else and fuck Hillary Clinton and I'm out.